I'm curious whether uh, whether you think this makes sense. You know, when I hear something like this, I I think about what problem are we trying to solve here? Is the problem trying to raise revenue? I suppose that's a that's a problem. Uh, are we trying to signal certain political priorities? Maybe we're doing that. But I don't see the actual economic problem that this is solving. Uh, I think there's very little evidence that uh, buybacks are somehow negatively impacting corporate decision making, that it's making them more short term oriented. And that list of companies that you mentioned earlier, um, it's pretty successful companies uh, on that list. So I tend to think this is more about making the numbers work in this budget and signaling priorities rather than addressing an actual economic problem afflicting America. I want, to get, I want to get to Don in just a sec, but Jim, there is, I think, irrefutable evidence that over the last 10 years, when you do look at executives selling their shares, that the amount, both in terms of volume, the timing, and everything else, is materially higher. I mean, on the order of five times higher, if not more than that, in the context of buybacks relative to companies that are not pursuing buybacks. By the way, it makes sense. You would, you would think that people would sell into a, into a buyback situation in part because it is propping and pushing the stock higher. Well, I guess two things. One, uh, you, you, then you, that's like, so that's a data point, right? And then you need to stick, they need to connect that to poor corporate performance. That therefore there are all these investments they're By not the way, making. Jim, oh, let me say my point. And same I story the, though. Same story. If you look at the studies, <laughs> you will actually see that companies that have pursued buybacks grow sl more slowly. Oddly enough, and, and maybe it's not odd, uh, than they did in the three years prior. To finish my second point, then you have to say that they are therefore passing up lots of good investments. And I thought like the broad center left macroeconomic theory here was that we're in a period of secular stagnation where there aren't good investments. So then what are you asking them to do? Where are the good investments that you want them to invest in? Uh, you can't have it sort of both ways. Donna, what do you think? Well, first of all, thank you. Andrew, I think you're making my point, actually, that uh, the fact is <laughs> that um, this phenomenon of corporate buybacks is actually increasing over time. Um, you made the point earlier, a trillion dollars, the estimates are, just this year. And so um, the goal here is to try to encourage uh, good behavior and discourage bad behavior. That is behavior. But Donna, are we, are we, uh, trying, to, are we trying to encourage, is this about. Executives to put the money back into their companies, to invest in R&D, right. to invest in their workforce, which in turn invests in the economy. But Donna, here's, here's the question. I mean, and maybe we just need to separate the issues. Are we trying to raise tax dollars, which, by the way, might happen because you would discourage buybacks, you might encourage dividends, they get taxed at a different rate. Obviously, that, that might be what we're trying to do here. Are we trying to change behaviors? Should those things be separated? And to Jim's point, if you want capital to move efficiently to the best uh, places for return and investment, what do you do in an environment where clearly companies, at least at the moment, don't think that they know of a place to put their money, a better place to put their money than in their own companies. Right. Well, so it's possible that with one policy, you can do multiple things. And so I think with, uh, with this policy, the idea is that if, if these are, you know, top 10 companies that you listed on your screen um, that are good companies, invest in your workforce, invest in, um, in expanding that, that business. And so I think that um, you know, you can both, and also encouraging the kind of behavior that says that we're not going to just keep repurchasing uh, stock, buying back stock instead of putting it into the company and right. into the workforce.